Hello friends, this is the Organizer Advisor helping you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Okay, we are finished with the every nook and cranny clean and organization of our kitchen and it feels delightful. I don't know about you, but I just feel like I wanna cook, prepare something really special. However, I'm gonna celebrate by using a gift card and going out to dinner and having a salad at Ruby Tuesdays because I don't wanna mess up my kitchen. So I'm gonna take you on just a quick little tour and then um, I'm going to do a little video with some highlights and then I wanna show you that really cool appliance cart. So in the case that you have limited cabinet space like I do in this little cottage kitchen, an appliance cart is a great way to save space in your cabinetry, but make your appliances, your small appliances accessible and a great way to store them where you're not having to bend down and lift them up all the time. So you can have a really convenient rolly cart. So um, I wanna get started and I'm gonna see if I can do a little video and maybe switch this camera around. And, hmm, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna start here. This is the north wall. Right here is the north wall of my kitchen. And then here's where I display my china. This is where I do most of my meal prep on the east wall. This is my little knife drawer. We saw that the other day. And just to show you the inside of my cabinets. And of course, my junk drawer. And then this is where I keep my batteries and flashlights. And this is my baking pans. Then of course we have the oven. And I just wanted you to see that like this filter, that was clean. And um, I just want to point out, don't store like food and vitamins over the top of your um, stove top. A lot of people have a cabinet up here. The heat just kind of diminishes your vitamins and things. It makes them, um, can turn them rancid. Like if you store your cooking oils or anything up there, that heat can turn them rancid. So, and then this is where I do all of my, this is my just everyday dishes that I use. And then we go around and remember how I always say eat clean. Um, so when I was going through cleaning my pantry, which I showed you the other day, it needed some work. These are my spices. Um, these are just things that I just bought because my grandson's coming. But what I realized is I have no processed foods really in this pantry. Everything is... Um, whole food or baking products. I was really surprised when that kind of, um, that revelation settled upon me because I, I kept thinking, you know, this is all baking stuff. Where's all my, you know, all my packaged foods. And then I realized I have really reduced my diet to more whole foods, refrigerated, frozen whole foods and like nuts and things, but very few packaged foods. This is all the packaged food that I have, literally. Two boxes of Triscuits and some keto stuffing. But that's that. Now I wanna show you under here, literally that is all of the cleaning products that I have, totally, except for laundry detergent, that is it. And then here is where I keep my vitamins and supplements. And let's see, and then this, this is a little nook here. That's where I have my, um, the, my everyday cookware, my, my saute pans and everything. And then this is my other set of china that I told you about the other day. And then the service wear that I usually have for special occasion service. Let's see. So I call this my special occasion service wear. And then, of course, the refrigerator. So all of the work paid off, and let's do the freezer. 
This is my baking soda. I put it in this because the box tends to stick to the bottom. And then my frozen food section. So there you have it. That is my Every Nook and Cranny Clean Kitchen. I'm so proud of you for hanging through this whole process. The kitchen is the, the, the most difficult and challenging room to clean in the home because of all of the items that we need in order to function and cook and commune with our families and friends and loved ones. So it just feels good to have it finished. You can see my grandson's picture there. Um, it's organized, it's efficient, it's everything's accessible, and it's just uplifting. When I come in here, I just feel like I could really just pick up and cook anything. So that encourages me to have a healthier relationship with my food so that I'm cooking more instead of getting like grab and go meals. I'm cooking more and I'm cooking healthier versions of um, menu items so that I'm eating to nourish and strengthen my body and enhance my health. So that's one of the benefits of having a clean, effective, organized kitchen is so that, let's see if I can scoot over there, so that you feel um, uplifted when you walk in, that you feel invited into the space. A clean, organized space is inviting. And when it's inviting, you're more likely to uh, engage in the space, to be productive in the space, to create in the space. And that is what cooking is all about. It brings a family together. It's uh, an activity everybody can participate in. Um, you know, I used to have, when my children were little, they would read to me or do their homework at the bar while we cook. Now, it wasn't in this house, but we still have a space here that if the, you know, I had children or my grandchild, while I'm cooking, they could be doing homework or reading to me, or we could be talking while they could be having a snack while I'm cooking. So really, the kitchen is one of the most important rooms in the home, and it being cleaned and organized is beneficial to the entire family, to the family's relationship with each other, but also to your relationship with food and your family's relationship with food. The more positive your kitchen space is, the more positive relationship you're going to have with the food in your home, and you're going to be encouraged to make that um, experience healthier, um, more colorful, more um, interesting, and it is an activity that everyone can do together. My boys learned to cook when they were young, um, and they are great cooks now. I have two, two boys, but they both cook for their families, and I felt that was an important skill that they needed to learn. Both of them are excellent cooks, but it all started in the kitchen. Having that really positive relationship and not having a frustrating kitchen helped me enhance my um, experience with my children while we cook together as a family. And that's very positive. They both cook really nutritious food for their families. And so it's a legacy. So consider that and keep working on your kitchen if you're not quite finished. It's a process. This is a magnificent room but it has lots of stuff and that can be very overwhelming. So we can do a cabinet a day, a wall every two days, whatever worked for you or is working for you, please stick with it because the benefits to having a clean and organized kitchen, having an uplifting space where you feel you can create, where you can work, where you can be productive, where you can connect, it makes all the difference. Bye.